Okay, this how-to video is going to describe how to import a DXF file. Um, you can see we've got a blank board here. Um, the important thing to notice is obviously the 00, zero origin. Um, we can obviously set up where we want to have this. But let's have a, a setup change drawing origin. We can just click on the screen and that then resets that location to 00. zero. This is going to map with where the DXF file has the 00, zero location. We're then going to do a file import DXF. Um, we're going to get the standard DXF input GUI. Uh, so let's browse for the DXF file that we have. Um, then the important thing is obviously to match the DXF units, making sure that the, the job units has the same and the same for the accuracy level. Um, using the default text table means that if it finds any text sizes that are subtly different in size, it will just use the default size in the text table. If you don't check this, it will just create text blocks as and when required. The incremental addition will then add it to this existing board file. We're then going to go to the, the CMV file, and this is where we map DXF layers to layers inside PCB Editor. So zero is actually the one that I have my board geometry outline on. So let's go to board geometry outline. Uh, fixings is just uh, uh, a marker place for where I want to put my fixing holes. So I'm just going to use like a dummy layer. So we'll use something like board geometry assembly detail if I can. There we go. Uh, and then I've got height area. So I might want to put this into maybe a package keep out, and it's on the top of the board. Once I've defined the layers that I'm going to map from and to, I then click OK and I hit Import. I get a few warnings about some, some zero length segments, but that's nothing to worry about. And you can then see there's my, my relevant board outline with the, uh, the, the markers and the areas that are coming on the relevant layers.